to another city. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Is that what you did with the Happy Cafe in Tokyo? Yeah, exactly. So oh, we, we okay. shipped the, our happiness message over, and we also allow their Tokyo um, Japanese people to write and, and paint and draw different things. So it becomes a very um, interactive part of two cultures coming together. So it was very fun. So where's, what's the next stop after Tokyo then? <laughs> I hope, I don't know. I have to do a program with other oh, okay. <laughs> countries yeah, who might invite word. us. All right, all right, okay. Um, what about the, uh, the National Taipei University Library? National Taipei. Yes, it's a totally new building. Um, actually, it's really transformed the whole campus. Um, I was saying that you've got a very special design on one, one wall, on one side of the building, is like these kind of sheets of paper. They, that's what I thought. It looked like sheets of paper kind of like flowing in the wind. Yeah. There are all different uh, um, curves and everything. Was that the idea? <laughs> Am I close even? <laughs> Pretty close. <laughs> yeah? Um, so that was actually my first project coming back to Taiwan. Really? Okay. Yeah, after um, 18 years of traveling around the globe, um, I got really sick. Um, I have uh, angelizing spongylitis Ooh. from working very, very hard in Tokyo and working very hard in the United States. And so the, the illness uh, made me unable to work. Um, so I had to come back to Taiwan. For treatments, oh, okay. um, so that was a very sad part of my of my life. That somehow the, the door closed it. I I almost thought my design career would be over because if you can't travel, if you can't see buildings, then it's uh, what's the point of being yeah. architect? <laughs> so in the end, um, you no know, medical advances uh, a little bit help me to uh, walk again, help me to pick up a pen again. I can feed myself and go to the toilet. Okay. Um, wow. So it was pretty serious before then. Yeah, it was yeah. quite serious. And uh, while I was in the hospital beds in Taiwan, my ex boss, um, he thought I couldn't, I could never just lie in bed. So he bought me this competition, which is the Taipei um, National uh, University Library oh, competition. Really? So I was in the hospital bed and I was just drawing different things. And um, we submitted it and we won the project. <laughs> So, and then, so I thought, wow, that's incredible. So I decided to stay in Taiwan and open the practice. Oh. Yeah. But yes, the, the idea, because at that time when I come to Taiwan, um, I thought all the buildings were very heavy. There was, this, there was this notion about people loving marbles and heaviness and having small windows. And I could not understand. So when I try to create a library, I want the library to be as open as possible. Mm -hmm. um, so people and the students can come in and go like a lounge, like a living room, like, you know, so it's not like a, a, a closed enclosed and you can just go there and study the books. If we open it up, there'd be more interactivity. So, so with the idea, um, I imagine a bookshelf of books, um, bookshelf of books, so I try to pull the books slowly apart mm -hmm. and then so it becomes these wave oh, yeah, 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 on yeah. the facade okay, cell. It. So it's like a, the action of pulling the books. Oh. Opening up the library to allow people to go in. Oh, I see. But at the same time, it's also um, for uh, environmental purpose. So the, the facade that I'm opening this up is uh, the east and the west. So in Taiwan or in Asia, it's very, very hot if you have direct sunlight. Yes. By having only a slit of sunlight bouncing off the facades going in, I can create a very, very beautiful interior space. But also have a very gentle and very light space on the outside as well. Oh wow, so, so there's engineering in this, there's physics in this. Yeah, yeah and there's right. lighting yeah. condition and uh, emotional conditions. Yeah. So yeah, it has become quite popular and we're very proud of the, the work we've done. Oh, that's cool. Do you think the world of architecture has really changed now? Because it's not just buildings you're designing, as a matter of fact. 
you're also you know doing the interior designing but not even even beyond that you're you're doing kind of print design or you know these visual design or logo designs even yeah i mean i never thought well, well what kind of architect is this i mean you you kind of like you know touching all the different disciplines you are doing, you know, like for example, with the um, the um, what was that, the Taipei Shanghai City Forum. Mm -hmm. It seems like ever since what 2015 or was it 16, they've been designing uh, the annual what the visual de uh, design, right, for yeah. for for the forum. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so we're very fortunate to um, help Taipei City government. Um, before it was um, maybe due to uh, contract law, so it was very hard for designers to jump in. And uh, we were very fortunate to, to do this. So we tried very hard to do a, a visual design without you know, the typical Shanghai Tower and the Taipei 101 Tower. We tried to figure out another way of mm -hmm. showing the two cities coming together. And um, this year the idea was, um, uh, the idea was about um, circular economy. Okay. okay. So we took the idea right. of um, we took the idea of uh, uh, oldness and newness. So we took the idea of bricks and modernity, which is glass, and we printed things on two sides. So one side is brick and one side is glass, and like a more, more full circle, we bend the thing. Yeah, bendable. Mm -hmm. And then so it always becomes a circular economy yeah. from the old culture into arts, into future, into modernity. And also symbolized between the two cities as well. So... Yeah, that design was for 2018, right? Yeah. yeah. So we don't specify which one is the, the old and the new, but I, th I believe both cities has that attributes. Mm -hmm. So I think it's just very interesting to combine these two together. Yeah, for 2016, it was, uh, it was a different idea that we use a uh, um, Wanhua Tong. Oh, kaleidoscope. Kaleidoscope, yes. So we, we throw in the colors of both of the city inside the kaleidoscope. kaleidoscope yes. And then we look through it, we bend it, yes. and then the color became our visual for that year. So it's like a celebration of the two cities coming together in a very fun and child, uh, creative way. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yes, uh, I think I think it's important for my office especially not to be stuck in one kind of programs. Like many people will say, okay, let's just do hotels and do apartments and just keep doing hotels and apartments. But I like to involve different works in, in our practice because I think design is all about understanding people. If you understand them, you can rethink and re-help them to shape their, their, their designs and their buildings. So I think um, we can design, uh, I think, uh, to be uh, very ambitious. We can design a lot of things. Yeah. Um, but of course with a lot of consultancy and other people's help as well. Yeah. Okay. What's it like um, working with Taiwanese clients? I mean, I'm sure you've also designed, you know, for uh, when you were staying in other countries, you've also designed for them and everything. What's it like working with Taiwanese clients? I think that's a very interesting question. Um, I had a very hard time working with Taiwanese clients. 